Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow. Now I've come out into the suburbs for you. I want to show you a very nice supermarket. It's called Spa. Now it's right behind me just off in the distance but I want to show you here first all the distractions before we even get to the supermarket. So have a look there. You can buy some uh, jackets, some t-shirts, sweaters and then have a look at the fruit market right here we don't even have to go in spa we have supermarket right here have a look here we have persimmons tomatoes cucumbers eggplant cabbage apples galore of course we're in russia apples galore grapes are currently in season look at all these grapes oh Crazy. Mandarins are starting to come soon now. Christmas time is close. Pomegranates. And then these are called torpedoes. But I call these uh, like rock melons. And have a look at the back there, the watermelons. Yes. And of course, more persimmons. Oh, persimmons everywhere. <laughs> and then, of course, we have the classic Russian staples here. Katochka or potatoes, onions, carrots. So, we're going to head on into Spa, uh, Euro Spa, let me get it right, and we're going to go check it out. Now, before I go inside, I just want to thank my friend here, uh, Maya Zavut. Ali. 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 Uh, Akuratai. Tajikistan. From Tajikistan. Tajikistan. And this is your market, yes? Fruit, yes. Say yes. Thank you. Thanks thank for letting you. me film your market, and thanks for being an expert cameraman. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now as I walk down to Euro Spa here, I've kind of been stopped by the next market man. Здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Oh, hello. 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 And he wants to show me his pomegranates. Uzbekistan. From Uzbekistan. <laughs> look how nice they look. They always have them cut open and ready here so you can uh, prepare yourself. And he has some more persimmons as well. Oh, lots of nice fruit. Have a look at all the grapes at the back there. Now the supermarket I want to go to is in this very brightly colored building right here. Now this is actually not on a main street. It's kind of around the back of a couple of different markets right here. Uh, it's kind of really out the way. But once we go inside you'll see how nice it is and how much stuff they've got. I've been here a couple of times before so I know this area pretty well but it's, uh, it's very cold today. <laughs> That's why I'm a little bit short of breath. It's only like minus one Celsius. It probably feels like minus five today. So yeah, extra cold. Now, this is a place we want to go to. It's called Eurospa. Now it's actually in this sort of small shopping center here. And it's open seven days a week, 6 a.m. till midnight. How's that for a supermarket? 6 a.m. to midnight. Now we're really not kind of close to housing here. We're really out the way a little bit, but let's head on side and check it out. Okay, so we found the entrance of Euro Spa here. Now, depending on where you live in the world, some of these places are called Spa, and this one is called Euro Spa. Now, the coolest thing about this supermarket is it has a kind of it has a kind of built-in cafe right here. You'll see here all this seating here on the left-hand side is seating for the cafe, well, the cafe, but there's actually no counter here. So it's just basically tables and chairs. It's nice and well set out. There's plenty of places to sit. It's actually really warm in here too. But basically you buy your food in the supermarket, which we've got to point out. And they've got microwaves here, utensils, somewhere to wash your hands. And everybody just basically hangs out here and has lunch, breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever you want to do. But simply you kind of buy the food in the supermarket and come out here and, and eat it, obviously. So yeah, let's go on inside. Now, I've come here on a Saturday afternoon. Now, it's just about 5 p.m. So, there is going to be some people around shopping. Now, this is a pretty hidden away supermarket. So, there is a ton of, uh, like, small markets outside. So, not necessarily people will come here to do their kind of shopping when you can buy all the fruit and vegetables on the market outside. There's also a big rinnock or a fresh market as well. Literally across the, uh, the way from where we uh, walked in here. So... Let's go check this out. 
Now, walking on in, I must admit, it's probably the brightest supermarket I've been to in all of Moscow. They've got lights galore. I'm not sure if it's a, a spa thing or what, but it's very bright. Have a look, fresh flowers right here in the entrance. If you want to find a way to keep your about a half on side, get us some flowers. Look, they've got a nice little display right out the front here. How cool is that? And then all the fruit and vegetables. Now, we're not really going to do too much pricing in here. Just want to walk around and show you the kind of choices. Have a look at the strawberries there, blackberries, raspberries, all sorts. Then we've got little uh, mini florists right here with all the plants. How nice is that? So yeah, let's have a walk around. So they do have baskets here, but again, these are kind of like miniature baskets. They're, they're like children's size ones. Have a look at all the, the leaves here and all the stuff for salads. You've got the water sprayer there. You can see how cold it is. It's got the steam coming off it. And then all the usual uh, seasonal fruit and vegetables here. Cucumbers, tomatoes. These are big tomatoes too, by the way. Kind of like hand size ones. There's some red capsicum, my wife's favorite. Yeah, look, there, there isn't lots of fruit and vegetables here because there's so much out on the street. You don't need to worry about it now. Not too sure how many takes we're going to take here, but let's do a bit of a walk around. You can get the fresh uh, uh, seeds here, and there's some candy and sort of nuts and different things. And this would be kind of part of the healthy section, I guess, but here's all the uh, sunflower seeds as well. If you need sunflower seeds, these are pretty popular. My wife's always got some of these at home also. And then here's the classic uh, vegetables here, the unwashed carrots. We've talked about these a fair bit. So 40 rubles versus 15 rubles. If you don't want to wash them. And then there's some beetroot there and onions. So yeah, there's a lot of choices. Now the whole reason I want to come to this place is we're going to see a little bit later on in the video their fresh food section. Here's some of the uh, meats here. This is all the chickens. Chicken? <laughs> chickens? chicken section. They do very well here. They like to spread out the uh, the meat sections quite well. Uh, and look, this is their extent of their frozen section. It's three little small fridges. One there with pilmene. I'd say this one has fish. Looks like. Yes. Lots of frozen fish. And then this one has all the pay by weight seafood here. So basically you get yourself a bag and a scoop, and you can get yourself some frozen uh, shrimps or prawns, depending on where you live. There's all sorts of different sizes here. This is kind of a cheaper way to get them rather than the fresh ones. Obviously these aren't local, so the frozen ones are kind of the go. Yeah, there's a very small kind of butcher section here. It's not very big again. Um, I'm gonna stress a fair bit where we are here. This is Tropolistan. This is a region in Moscow in the kind of southwest of Moscow where outside the shopping center there is so many markets it's kind of unimaginable especially if you're not a Russian or not a local the amount of places you can buy food here look my favorite I'm gonna to wave to the camera at the same time Mosquarium right here with some fish El Dorado or Dorado I want to say El Dorado after the the electronic store and here's some salmon and some fresh fish as well I like how they put the little add-ons at the front here, the lemon and the, the salts. It's always nice. So yeah, there's quite a fair bit of supermarket to cover. We're not going to sort of see all the different aisles, but you'll get a good idea here of how nice this supermarket is. Uh, there isn't that many of these around Moscow and around Russia generally. They're kind of few and far between. In the center of Moscow, they've got a few convenience store versions of these, but uh, the full range supermarket isn't uh, there isn't that many of them have a look at the pickled vegetable section right here and over here here's some uh, canned uh, foods canned fruits there's a little bit of honey here as well not too much and some jams then they do have a little caviar section here too which is kind of neat because you can get it by weight so you can just get a little small tub of it you don't have to get the whole container They've also got all of the uh, black caviars right here as well, but 
it's kind of nice. You don't have to get as much. That's what they sell by the, the can or the tin, if you like. Here's all the uh, prefer, prepared fish. The uh, what's this reconstituted crab. I don't know what crab meat they call it, right? Salmon. This is kind of neat. There's even a small uh, Asian section here with all the different uh, sauces and uh, I guess if you want to make your own sushi as well. There's uh, some options. Here's all the pastas. And then here's all those Heinz flavors now. I've talked about this before about the Heinz 57. And I think that Russia has the 57 varieties. Okay, there's a couple of different other brands here, but have a look at all the choices of ketchups. So if we have anybody that likes to do home baking, there's a section for that as well. Have a look at all the choices of flour here on the left, and then all of the, the oats and cereals and porridges. There's a whole kind of half, well, about half an aisle's worth of it, but plenty of choices. And then we come down here to the different uh, rices. And if you want to do the cook at home soups, all the different ingredients for soups. Right here, plenty of choice of rice. And then sugar, plenty of sugar in stock, full. And then even the salt section over here. Now this video, I didn't want to make it too much about the pricing of things. Now Spa typically is a higher priced supermarket than a lot of the more, let's say average, or if you want to call it typical supermarkets in Moscow. Really just want to show you the assortment and selection uh, again, this place won't always be too busy because there's so many food markets around here to shop before you even walk into the supermarket. So let's go check out some more. Spa also has a very nice wine selection here as well. You'll see the amount of choices here on both sides. The actual spirits are here in the middle too. So as usual, plenty of vodkas and then all the red wines over here on the right hand side. The coolest thing here too is they've got the country flags here so you can actually uh, kind of uh, signify which country all the wines have come from. I think it's really neat. So if we have a look at uh, Absolute Vodka here, we know it comes from Sweden. And then we know Grey Goose comes from France. So how cool. And then here's uh, quite a few of the Russian ones as well, of course. But how neat is that, that you can sort of choose the country. Here's Georgia, if you want from Georgia. And then over here from, that's Argentina. You guys can do spot the flags. There's a lot of Italian wines here. And then have a look at that. There's the uh, Union Jack there. But of course, they don't have the Scottish flag on Johnny Walker, but that's pretty neat, isn't it? Monkey shoulder, yeah. So all of the kind of scotches have got the Union Jack on them. And we'll have a bit of a walk along the dairy aisle here. So you'll see all the mayonnaise choices. Plenty of choices of mayonnaise and then yogurts. Again, I don't really want to focus on pricing. I've done that in quite a few different videos. If you guys want to see kind of like a pricing kind of video, I could do that separately and make a specific one where we point out some of the prices, but have a look at all the yogurt choices here. Wow, that's a lot of choices of yogurt. This is why I don't come out to the supermarket with my wife a lot, by the way, because she loves this kind of store because of the amount of selection. Now I am trying to shoot some of the aisles here where the people are walking because I'll always get in the way of people. Here is sour creams. If you guys uh, have borscht, typically you put a dollop of sour cream in there or smetana in your soup. Here's the milks. Plenty of choices of milk. And then we come down here to different types of butters, margarines, and then there's some cheese. Here's like the uh, Kraft Singles, but it's Nuchland Singles. <laughs> but yeah, there's more than enough choices. And then have a look at all the cheeses here. This is like a little separate section where they do the, uh, sort of pack their own cheeses where they basically cut the blocks and then reprice them individually. So uh, yeah, there's plenty of Swiss cheeses. Again, we'll see that Swiss flag on a lot of the signage. And there's some Russian cheeses, uh, of course. So some different brands have left the market, but you've got a lot to choose from. 
I really like how they've got their beer set out here too. So on this side, they've got all of the uh, room temperature beer. So you just basically buy it off the shelf. Everything again, single cans or bottles. And over here, they've got all the refrigerated ones. So you've got a big choice too of uh, refrigerated ones. So if you want to basically take it and drink it now, or I don't know, I guess drink it on the way home. But look at all the choices. Plenty of choices of bud right there. And then a lot of different, I guess you call them boutique beers. So again, yeah, I've pointed this out as well too. In Russia, you buy them singly. So you just buy how many you need. So if you want one or 12 or three, just choose them like that. Have a look, even more on this side. Full. So right at the beginning of the video, you saw me there showing the pomegranates outside, the fresh ones, and you can buy the juices here. This is actually the in-house brand here, the spa brand. Now somebody did say to have a look underneath and look for the packaging, which is Tetra Pak. So somebody did mention in one of the comments that Tetra Pak had uh, changed hands in Russia or had left the market, but pretty much everything here is in Tetra Paks. And I think safely this is the largest selection of Lay's I've seen anywhere in Moscow as well. They have literally every flavor possible of Lay's chips. So someone did point out that Lay's is part of Pepsi. So I'm curious now what's going on because there's no shortage around any store that I go to, but have a look at all the flavors. You know, the one I like the most is the spare rib one here. This one right here, this is my favorite spare rib flavor. But, and if I'm really, really hungry, there's the ones here with the different seafood one. There's a crab flavored one as well. Now there's no sign on the top of this uh, end display here or off location as we call them in Australia, but we can pretty clearly see Pepsi right here. So we know this is Pepsi. And then we see on one side, kind of like the cola, and on the other side, the Miranda. And then if we look closely, somewhere right here is the Pepsi logo right there, or well, the Pepsi website. So yeah, if I need Miranda or Pepsi, I just come for Evis. And then a few people have also mentioned in comments about the health food aisle. So there is a health food aisle. Now I'm not particularly into any of the health food items in the stores, but they do have one entire side of the uh, aisle here. They're dedicated to health food or maybe gluten-free items, I guess. So there's a lot of choices. Now I wonder if anybody's watching from Spain. Have a look at all the different, uh, I guess, sliced hams here, like prosciutto crudo. I'm not too sure of the names. Uh, I just know them as Italian, but authentically Spanish. And this one here says uh, product of San Marino. But uh, if you need the kind of antipastas, I'm not sure how they call this, like the sliced meats that you put on the table, you know? Lots of them. Now we've almost made it over to this fresh food section that I want to show you here. Now it's just off on the left here, but here's all the different uh, hams and salamis. Uh, a lot of choices. Have a look, and then these ladies back here will basically slice it how you need it. And it's essentially pay by weight. Typically a lot of things here are by 100 gram weights, but have a look at this food section here at the end of the uh, supermarket here. Here's some more different salamis and bolognese, uh, sausages, a lot to choose from. And then have a look at this fresh food section. Did I show all the hams? I've actually found another small uh, section of them as well. Actually quite a lot of these brands are in other supermarkets, but they do have some sort of different odd, uh, I don't know, I'm going to say odd for me, but maybe if you guys watching uh, are into the different hams and uh, sliced hams, I guess. Salamis, there's a lot of choices. And then over here is this first section here where they've got all of the uh, prepared salads. Have a look at that, nice shrimp salad right there. Oh, very nice. And then different... Uh, Salads, these, uh, I don't know all the names of these, like potato salads, cold slaws. Here's the beetroot salad I like to eat. <laughs> I know that. Oh, and here's pickled mushrooms as well, which are very nice also. Yeah, there's 
a good selection. So you can see basically what happens is you basically just grab and go these. So you grab them, take them to the self-checkout, and then go sit in the cafe. So over here is one of the kitchens here where they're doing all the prepared food. And then check this out. They've got all the different pilmenes right here. So they're basically, you kind of boil them is the way you kind of cook them. So they boil them in, in hot water. Then they've just got them here kind of warm, I guess. And then you just buy them by weight. There's a couple already prepared. So you just grab them and put them in the microwave and off you go. And then we've got the lady over here doing the, the sheet pastry for you. How neat is that? Now, just walking around a little bit more here, they've got fresh soups as well. So you can get it basically for takeaway. There's different sizes, but have a look. The lady just sort of scoops it into the containers. They're already hot, so you can just eat them right out of the packet, or out of the bowl. Uh, a lot of people will take these home. Save a lot of time uh, cooking at home, the soups, buying them like this. And then they've got fresh sushi. Oh, green sushi. I'm used to these ones over here, the regular ones. And as we come around here, you'll see more salads. Now this is the, really the highlight of coming to this supermarket, by the way. I wish I had one closer to where I live. All these fresh salads over here. Lots of them. Have a look, more. Tomato salad there. I think I'll just call it tomato salad. I'm sure you guys know the different names of them, but so many choices. Keeps going and going. So you just basically let them know which uh, size container or how much you want and they'll just wait out for you and off you go. So right here by all of the uh, cooked food, they've got a kind of like a grab and go drink section. I was kind of interested here because I just saw some Coca-Cola and this is the ones from Kazakhstan. So yeah, they've got the actual gold lid ones, which we know. And then these are the red lid ones, which are Basically all from Kazakhstan now, not really talking about pricing, but 110 rubles. Now that would normally, before everything was going on, it'd be probably about 60 rubles. So if you really want Coca-Cola, you can get it, but you're paying a fair bit more for it. So the cooked food keeps on going. Now, if you did think that we only eat all healthy food here, you might be wrong. Look, there's some fried food, finally. Some chicken nuggets, fries, onion rings. So, have a look here though. Lasagna. Oh, so nice. And there's even like a cottage pie there. But, oh, I might have this lasagna for lunch myself. And here's some classic, uh, I guess, potatoes. They have this in every supermarket that's got takeaway food. And you can get some grilled fish here. And then there's even different pastas, mashed potato, spaghetti, all sorts. Look, the elbow, there's the bow tie pasta over there the, with the pesto sauce. So it kind of started out as a supermarket vlog and it's ended up as a food vlog. So I wonder how many people actually come here just for the food to do takeaway or to eat in the cafe versus actually coming to do their supermarket shopping. Have a look at the different sushis here as well. So many choices of sushi. And some potatoes, some cooked vegetables. And potatoes, more potatoes. And here's something else that I like in this place too. They've got the chicken wings. You don't get the chicken wings and chicken legs everywhere, but you can get them uh, here as also the spicy ones as well. And then even uh, potato wedges. So you'll just see in the back there, the kitchens where they make all the food. There's quite a selection here. There's one of the chefs right here. He's got the bit. Chef's always the one guy with the tallest hat on. That's how you always know who the chef is. Uh, and then there's even the takeaway sushis. And here's some more salad choices here. Olives, different choices, a lot to choose from. It's, uh, here's one of those little miniature soup, little trolleys here. Looks like a children's size. Oh, and here's the bilini. So it's basically pancakes with savory stuffings inside. And then here's some different meats. There's some pork, roast chicken, everything. So this is again, it's all basically made uh, here in store. And you can see the kitchen in the back here with them all. Actually, they're doing some uh, cut fruit over there in the back. And here is the pancakes. Oh, look at that. You basically just let them know how many you like. And then you've got the different sauces here. You can get the chocolate sauce if you like, or just 
regular sugar, but, and this guy here is doing shashlik. Have right, a look at shashlik right here. A shashlik in a supermarket. Now in all the different times I've been here, I've never fully walked around and sort of took my time having a look at the kitchens. And this is where they do all the bakery things in the back here. You can just see all of the uh, ovens and different things. And they've got some of these pastries here. So these are basically uh, deep fried pastry with, they'll generally have either potato inside or meat or pork. And they just basically put them in the hot oil and good to take away. It's even got hamburgers here as well. And then this guy over here is doing stir fry noodles. So yeah, there's these little signs here which we can kind of have a look at what, they, what the different choices are, but he's doing the wok noodles. Check that out. How cool is that? And I really want to see the shashlik guy again. He's just walked off there, but he's got all the different ploffs as well. This is basically a, kind of like a rice uh, dish with different vegetables inside, carrots, uh, meats. And then you can see at the back there, the barbecued pork or chicken. So you can either choose them that are pre-cooked right here, or they'll do fresh ones for you right on the grill. And if that wasn't enough, <laughs> pizza. Now, right at the beginning, if we saw all those people sitting in the cafe, you know that they've come here and grabbed something. So you get pizza by the slice here. So they'll basically uh, put them right in the oven and warm them up again if you want them like that, or they'll box them to take home. They're very big slices too. Now, just as I'm walking around here, I kind of went right past these uh, baguettes here, or French bread, I guess, sticks, straight out of the oven. Now, again, if you've got smell of vision at home, turn it on, because that's basically right out of the oven right now. And they've got a little cafe here as well. So if you want coffee to sit down and take away or eat in the, drink in the cafe. And they've got a few cakes. So this is all basically by weight. So you just let them know how big a slice you want and off you go. And then there's already the pre-sliced ones here as well. If you want something a little bit bigger. But yeah, just keeps on giving this place. It's really amazing. So the bread section in this store is not particularly big. Mostly because everything's done fresh in store and they just want to basically just cook as they sell it or, you know, make it and sell it within sort of a few hours and they just keep making some more. And that's why they've got the big stand right here. So you can see they're just about to refill all the uh, breadsticks, but these are only 41 rubles. So about 70 or 80 US cents for a, a nice uh, baguette. But you can see there's all plenty of people in here. I guess we're, these are all the lazy people who don't want to cook at home, so they come and get all the pre-made stuff. Are we all lazy if we do that? I guess it's kind of the ultimate Russian fast food. If you get everything kind of freshly prepared and then just take it and eat it in the store or go home and have it for dinner tonight. And coming around here to the uh, tea and coffee aisle. So still a lot of choices. I mean, there is a bit of a thing about some of the brands of left Russia, but you know, considering how many choices there are in the store, you know, the, the shelves are fairly full. And here's one of my favorite sections. I'm sure everybody knows I like chocolate. I'm pretty sure you all do, but I wonder if my dad knows about this one here, Tony's Chocolate uh, from France. How's that? And there's some German chocolate there as well. And then I think a lot of the other Russian chocolates, but there is a, a lot of choices. And they do have a small kind of pay by weight section here and all the sweet and sugary candies on the other side. So I think the whole idea when you come here is you come straight away first and buy some cooked food, go sit in the cafe, fill your belly up. And when you come back shopping, you don't buy as much. I wonder if that's the thing. Is that what you guys do at home if they've got a cafeteria in your supermarket? Would you shop first or would you shop after? I think I, I, I know I've done it a couple of times where I've walked in hungry and we bought far more than we need. But uh, if you go to the cafe first, full belly, you get a much smaller basket at the checkout. Now, when I was here the other day, I'd actually come in here just to grab a drink on my way home. I'd come out to this area to go to another store and I came across these uh, bourbons here. Now, okay, we know that they're from America, they're from Kentucky, but Billy Bong, uh, I find this very interesting. Uh, but you can see here, Woodford Reserve, Maker's Mark. 
Jim Beam Double Oak. These are all very well known uh, American whiskies. Uh, all the different Jack Daniels. And then over here from South Africa, Amarula, Sheridan's, Bailey's, Cocoa Jumbo. Looks like coconut rum. It looks like Malibu, but it's another brand. Then we got tequilas and then some of the age rums. Now, if anybody knows me, you know that I've been working on cruise ships in the duty free shops and they actually have a very nice rum selection here. Uh, this Bacardi 8, it's kind of interesting. They've got the British flag here, but this is actually made in Puerto Rico. Uh, so I wonder uh, how they've got the England flag. I think that's maybe the importer. And then uh, Havana Club from Cuba, Brugal, Dominican Republic. But some of these, uh, look, 15 year old El Dorado. And then that's the Zacapa 23 Solara here, which is considered one of the top five rums in the world. Uh, but yeah. All the different uh, Bacardi's, Captain Morgan's, and there's a few of the other Devil's Island down there. I don't know where that's from, but plenty of choices. Now, I couldn't kind of walk past the wines and not look for the Australian ones, but firstly here for Ben, if you're watching, there's some New Zealand wines here in Moscow. And then our flag is not too dissimilar, but these are the Australian ones here, Lindemann's, Ross and Retreat. These are actually pretty well known brands right here. Take Root, I've not heard of before, Old Coach Road. Oh, this is New Zealand here, that's why. But yeah, a couple of Australian ones here in the store. Now, although you do see not too many people in the aisles, I do try and avoid, you know, filming right in front of people. There is quite a lot of people in the store, although it does look maybe less on camera, but Plenty of different uh, washing powders and all of the cleaning products here. My wife's uh, other favorite, Domestos. And I'm forever buying the wrong color bottle. I need to always remember which color bottle to buy when I come. And how many types of washing up liquid do they have here? Oh my gosh, I didn't think there was that many available. Now, as I've been pointed out a few times now, so I'm finally kind of put in my place that there is far more cats in Russia than there are dogs. Of course, we all live in apartments, so cats are more practical, of course, right? They, dogs, uh, you've got to take them for walks, you've got to take them out to the garden. And if you live in an apartment in the, in the center here or close enough, you know, that's why <laughs> there's so much cat things all the way down. Then we finally get to the little dog section down here. So yeah, all the biscuits, the dry biscuits, but no canned dog food. Pretty sure you guys around the world, if you've got a dog, you'll probably typically buy canned dog food, I wonder, let me know. Now we're slowly coming to the end, so if you're getting hungry, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to show you the donuts here. They've got their own in-house donut section, I guess, and pastries. And there's a lot of honesty about this. You just basically grab the plastic bag and the tongs and put it in there, and obviously you go pay at the register, but these are uh, the ones over here, they've got jam in or raspberry. Uh, very nice, these. And then there is a, a normal bread section, but it's very small. So this will all be the ones that'll be brought in from a bakery in some form. These aren't made in the store, but how small is this compared to where you guys live around the world? But I did notice up here, Harry's is in the store. Here's this very famous white bread with the uh, incredibly white looking uh, loaf. Oh, there's a, like a brown bread version there. Do you guys call it white bread and brown bread? Um, yeah, there's, uh, I think most people tend to focus all on the fresh breads rather than these pre-packaged ones. Okay, everybody, so I thought I'd finish the video here in the cafeteria and I got myself something to eat. I got the lasagna like I was pointing out and I've just had a little taste, but it's very nice. Uh, what I'm really curious about is they didn't put a sticker on it when I went to pay for it. So normally, depending on where you go, they'll put a weight sticker on there and you pay at the register. But when I went to the self-checkout, I literally put it on the scales and it must have some sort of camera in there. I don't know who, how or what they did to figure it out. It basically charged me. So I got a portion of lasagna. I got a slice of pizza. So I've got kind of like a ham and tomato pizza. 
and I got myself some Dobra, well, this is not Dobra Cola, this is the Dobra Orange, which is basically Fanta. So this is exactly what Fanta would be. It's actually from the exact factory where Coca-Cola and Fanta products are made, which is called uh, Moulton Partners. These were the original guys that set up the factory, then they sold it to Coca-Cola, and then they've now acquired it back. So yeah, Fanta, pizza, lasagna. Thanks everybody, I think I found Russia's best supermarket now. I'm not sure how I'm gonna title this, so if you're watching it uh, and you can come up with a better title, uh, I'm sorry you're watching a bit of a long ending, but uh, I, I, was, I, I, I did intentionally come out and have lunch at the same time as coming here, but just the amount of choices, you kind of almost spoilt with what you want to have walking around in this section of the, it's almost like a half of the supermarket, but have I found Russia's best supermarket? Now, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of Russian people watching as well. So yeah, please let me know what you think of uh, Eurospar in, by your opinion. And do you have a Eurospar where you live somewhere else in the world? Uh, we don't have them in Australia, so we don't really have anything like this at all, this uh, food concept where you can basically just come in the cafe like this. Uh, I just basically put it in the microwave for about a minute just to warm it back up again because it was already heated, but just to make it a bit hotter. But yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I'm sure I'm gonna get a few thumbs down, probably because of how long it is. And if you've made it to the end, thank you. Thank you to all the new subscribers to the channel as well. We've got probably nearly 10,000 new subscribers in the last 28 days, which is just phenomenal. So thank you everybody for watching Traveling with Russell. I'm not sure how far we're traveling, but so far it, it, it could be like uh, the Supermarket King channel. I wonder if we should change the name. <laughs> supermarket shopping center king but yeah i'm gonna enjoy my lasagna now post a comment let me know what you think and then i'm gonna head off on another adventure i've got another video planned for today right after this it's gonna be dark uh, by the time i get home because it's already getting dark outside now uh, now it's coming to winter here it gets dark here 4 30 5 p.m every evening so yeah thanks everybody see you later so just leaving now i thought i'd just add this on right at the very end so I couldn't leave without getting another slice of that lasagna to take home. So I called my wife and she said, bring home, me a sli bring home a slice for me too. So I got a slice of lasagna and I got some Ritter Sport chocolate as well, which we don't buy very often. So yeah, I'm gonna get on the Metro now, actually bus first, then the Metro, then another bus. And about two hours from now, I'll be back home. So sorry for adding on a little bit extra to the video. Catch you later, everybody, bye.